Jordan, aka The Mad Gringo, reached out to me and said, Shane, I got some products that I would love for you to check out and try in particular his hot sauce salsa. So being an absolute lover of anything spicy and hot, of course, I said I would be more than happy to oblige. So we, uh, we got some bad boys in front of us. Let's take a look. First up is the Chipotle standoff. This is a medium heat. I don't think I have anything that's really mild, so it's medium to hot. So let's give this one a go. Let's give it a shake. That's got a great fragrance. Fragrance bouquet, if you will. Holy shit. All right, so don't do that. It comes out pretty good. Again, it smells wonderful. Mm. Right away, there's a really good heat for it. I get a feeling these are all gonna be pretty hot. This one's really good. Gentle. We're off to a great start. So the next one is the Tesla oil. Uh, it is a medium heat as well, I believe. I can't see with my glasses off. So all these you can find in stores around uh, around Halifax. We're in Superstore, uh, we're in Sobeys, not to be confused with Elon Musk's Tesla. It smells great. It doesn't smell spicy or hot. It's be very mild for me, very mild. It'd be really good on a pizza. Hard for me to describe what it tastes like. So the next one up is the original, and it says it's the medium heat level. Let's give it a try. It smells great. Doesn't smell overly spicy, but don't let the smell deceive you. This one's a little thicker than the other ones. Go big or stay home. That's definitely the milder out of everything I've had so far. So if you like something mild and good flavor, go with the original first. So all the ingredients in the products is from here in Nova Scotia, and they make it down in Sambra where their kitchen is at. So the next one he said to pay close attention to was the Buffalo Dill Pickles, one of his newer ones. Uh, the heat level, I guess, would be mild to medium is what I see there. Anyway, I love dill pickle, love buffalo sauce. Let's go. Oh wow, it's definitely dill pickle. What a great combination. Oh, this is gonna be good. Not as, well, that is my favorite so far. What a great combination. Not a whole lot of heat. Well, not for me. Again, this is one of his newer ones. This is really yummy. Nice. It's really important to have that good balance between the amount of heat and the flavor, and this has got it. So the next one is his hottest. This is the Deadly Inferno, and you can tell by the name, it's gonna be hot as well. Anyway, let's go at it. I'm going to put a nice, healthy portion. One of my bandmates, Sean, he really likes, uh, likes heat, so I'll definitely have to let him try this out. So shout out to you, Sean. I certainly smell the heat. I'm trying to pick out the actual flavor we're about to find out. It's definitely hot. It's got a really good kick to it. Let's try some more. I actually started taking a bottle of Tom's with me in the car. Again, it's way at that level. You wouldn't want it too much hotter than that because then it's going to ruin the flavor. This is really good. This is really good. Not for the faint of heart. If you don't like hot and spicy, stay away from this one. A1. Very good. <coughs> don't inhale when you eat it. Yeah, it's starting to escalate. Of course, I had two big portions of it. And you get the eyes water, and now I'm starting to sweat, which I said before is a really good indication of a good hot sauce. All right, we're not done. Right, so the next up is their salsa. It is the Java Heat Salsa. So this would be up more on the milder to medium side. It's got a little bit of a coffee smell. Mm. Oh yeah, I got all over my desk. Check it out. <laughs> I should have probably had this first. I still got the Deadly Inferno in my mouth still. Very good. Highly recommend. You bring the hot sauces when I'm showing a property. Hey, you want to buy a house, here's some hot sauce. So we also sent me this powder, Pure Reaper Powder. So, I mean, the name kind of speaks for itself. I'm not sure if I'm going to try this or not. Oh, what the hell. I'm going to regret this. Oh, I am so going to regret this. Look at that. Hopefully you saw that, because I'm not doing it again. Oh, yeah. It's the anticipation. I did get some on it. Okay, maybe I didn't get enough. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Oh yeah, I definitely got on there. <coughs> I think the first one is starting to kick in too. Probably meant to be put in something and bake, not just straight out of the container. Oh. Oh. Jordan, sir, I salute you. These were really good. Uh, I enjoyed every one of them. I had to pick my favorite. It would definitely be the Buffalo Dill Pickle. I really enjoyed the Deadly Inferno. Uh, I recommend if you're gonna try the Pure Reaper Powder, you don't do it on its own. You can mix it with something else. And the salsa was very yummy as well. Anyway, as I go blow my nose and drink a gallon of water, thank you very much for watching and always remember to get out there and support our local businesses. Cheers. I'll be okay.